Well, Spooky Nook is quickly taking shape here in Hamilton. This area right here will be filled with courts, volleyball courts, basketball courts, and this is just a small portion of what's coming. Lieutenant Governor John Husted in a hard hat today. Down here, there'll be a one-eighth mile track that'll go all the way around. Getting his first look at what will soon be the largest indoor sports complex in North America. So here there'll be a drop down basketball hoops for 14 courts, as well as we'll be able to convert this area to 28 volleyball courts. On the other side of that wall, there'll be our turf field with lights. On the top of that hill, on the other side of the access road, that'll be our baseball center eventually. A game changer for this 40 acre piece of property along Hamilton's riverfront. If you're a parent out there that's ever gone to one of the weekend sports tournaments, whatever sports that is, someday you're going to be here. Spooky Nook is expected to draw more than 1 million visitors a year, and it's more than just sports across the street. Over there is going to be our conference center convention area. Uh, we got three ballrooms over there, 233 hotel rooms, our restaurant, retail. Even a brewery. Municipal Brewworks was the first tenant to sign a lease. Locally owned Petal and Wicks has also committed to setting up shop here. It's going to be a go-to place, uh, something that uh, Hamilton and Butler County don't have at this at this level. Um, frankly, there's no place like this uh, in the state of Ohio. After touring Spooky Nook, Husted said it's clear this will eventually become a regional destination while creating between four and 500 new jobs. Uh, it's all going to be uh, accomplished in buildings that were once vibrant uh, paper manufacturing facilities and now they're going to become entertainment facilities. And if you're wondering how successful this is going to be, they already have 40 weekends booked for next year starting in March. In Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. I like the pink card hat too, on Karen. <laughs> she pulls it off. She does. By the way, after a few delays due to weather and the pandemic, of course, Spooky Nook is on track now to open next spring. Athletes.